guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nisha if you're new here and in today's video we're going to be doing a full face of elf as you can see I have absolutely nothing on we're going to be using some newer products like recently launched as well as some older products a couple limited edition things but if you wanted to recreate this look you can use any uh, colorful palette. ELF is one of my favorite drugstore brands. It is very, very affordable and very, very accessible. You can get it in Ulta, Walmart, Target, online of course, and the prices range from a dollar, two dollars, to around, I would say 18, 20. I think the most expensive thing I ever bought was about, was about $25 and that was a collab palette. And for being a really affordable brand, I feel like their products are really, really good and some of them are comparable to high-end brands. So we're going to do a full face. We're going to try out most of this thing, most of these things I haven't even used. I've had them for a while just sitting there. So now we're going to put it all on my face, come up with a nice colorful look because this weekend is pride. So I wanted to do something colorful and I also wanted to try out a TikTok hack. We'll see if it works out because I've been seeing a lot of people doing it and it's looking really good and I wanted to try it out. So if you're interested in seeing me try out a whole bunch of e.l.f. products, a lot of them are new to me and I haven't used yet so you know we're going to get a first impression and you want to see me try this TikTok hack, please keep on watching. If you like makeup, beauty, fashion, hauls, shopping, I do all sorts of fun stuff over here on this channel. If you like that type of stuff, please subscribe. Now let's jump into this full face. So first we're going to start with eyebrows like I always do. I don't have a, an e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Uh, so I'm going to be using just my regular Wander Beauty one to outline my brows. I have used the e.l.f. one before but I feel like the, from what I recall, I wasn't really a fan. The thicker one, which is about two dollars, like the point is a little too thick for me and then they do have a micro uh, pencil as well but I feel like if from what I recall the formula was a little stiff so as you see this one is a little bit easier it kind of glides onto the skin I prefer that but with the elf one it seemed to be a little stiff but again I haven't tried that one in a while they might have reformulated it, but I haven't bought a new one recent. What I have been using is the brow, I think this is called the brow cream liner. I'll put the name and prices of everything on the screen because I'm not going to remember. I literally use this every day. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see like it's all the way down. I use this every day. It's a really good brow gel. So I'm going to go in with my brush and fill in my brows. It's a really good brow gel and I think it's also a liner. It's very, very pigmented. See, as you can see, much darker than the pencil but I really just use the pencil as a guide for the brow and with this it is very very creamy very pigmented I fill in my brow with it and then I let it sit for a minute before I even touch it again because it will smear everywhere but once you let it sit for a second it dries down and it's pretty much budge proof after that which I really like, especially for now, summertime, you don't want your brows slipping and sliding all over your face. It looks a little intense now, but I'm going to comb through it in a second once it dries down and remove most of the pigment. Um, do you guys see my mirror? Isn't it cute? It's from Millennial Beauty. And you can see it's basically Beyonce doing her single ladies dance. This is so cute. If I can link it, I would link it down below. I got this in my Glow Attic um, beauty box. I have the unboxing it up on my Instagram if you want to check it out and I also did a look with all the products that are in that box and I am now on their PR list and if you want to subscribe you can use cute Trini 10 for 10% off your subscription but this I thought this mirror was so cute and it's perfect because what ha I always complain what tends to happen with drugstore products is they don't have a lot of they don't put a lot of mirrors in their products so to have a handheld mirror while you're doing your makeup if you're not in front of an actual mirror like in front in your bathroom it really it really works out and it's a really nice mirror too so definitely check that out to clean up under my brows and also as a as my eye primer for my lid i'm going to use the elf putty eye primer in sand so it is crease and smudge proof for 12 hours and I'm pretty much going to be wearing this makeup all day. It is noon. And yeah, I'm going to be wearing this until I would say 
eight nine o'clock tonight so it is like a pot primer and it's that elf that whole elf putty primer technology that they have going everything they're doing is now in this uh putty formula so i'm just gonna dip right in with my flat brush and first i'm gonna clean up under my brow with it and then i'm gonna go onto my lid as an eye primer this way instead of using a concealer to clean up under my eyebrows and then go in with a eye primer because I don't like using a concealer as an eye base because sometimes it's too drying and you need something that's a tiny bit tacky to hold on to the pigment of the eyeshadow so this being a you know a pot primer makes it a little bit easier to use it to clean up under the brows like this. Okay now that I've done that part and the cream has sat for a little bit I'm just going to brush through it with this bully part of my eyebrow pencil and you're going to remove any clumps, any excess products, product that's kind of like built up and kind of help your hair show up a little bit more. Again, okay, back to the eye primer. I'm going to go all over the lid. I'm just going to take a brush right into the pot and then kind of tap it all over the lid. I think this is a really good color for my skin tone. It helps to hide my dark circles and the veininess on my eyelids. And it's gonna be a little bit tacky to grab onto that eyeshadow pigment. Okay, so I decided to zoom in a little bit so we can see the eyes a little bit better. This is pretty, still has a little bit of tackiness to it. I like that in, in an eyeshadow primer because that means it's gonna hold on to the pigment, but it's not like too sticky and annoying. So for our palette today, we're gonna to be using the ELF X J Kissa palette. This came out last summer. I know it's an old palette but it, they did sell a lot so a lot of people do have this palette still and I wanted to do something pretty colorful so you get this cute little sticker sheet that comes with it that you can decorate your palette with I'll probably give that to my daughters but this is what the palette looks like it is a straight up rainbow palette which is exactly what I need for today's look it is beautiful I can't believe I just had this sitting just sitting there doing nothing for so long but we're going to use it today and this one actually has a mirror. I think this one was either $20 or $25 so I guess they put a mirror in it. So the TikTok trend that we're going to do today is we're going to take tissue paper, scrunch it up, and then we're going to stamp it on our eyes to give sort of a tie-dye watercolor effect with the eyeshadow. If you are on TikTok, I'm sure you've seen people do this. Patrick Starr did it. And uh, we are going to attempt to do it today. So we will say our prayers and hope that this works out. So I'm going to scrunch up the paper. And in terms of the colors, I'm going to do a yellow, orange, and red on one eye, and then I'm going to do green, blue, and purple on the other eye. And we are going to pray to high heaven that this works. So, whew, I'm a little scared. All right, so we're going to start with the purple. So I'm going to dip it right into the purple. Looks like there's really good pigment. And we're going to put this on the outer V. Okay, that actually worked. Oh, let me extend it out just a tiny bit. Whoo, that actually worked. I'm scared. This is some scary shit. All right, I'm gonna get a clean part of the tissue, scrunch it up. Now we're gonna go into the blue. This is a beautiful blue. So now we're gonna put this in the middle right next to the purple. There's a lot of like negative space. Maybe I need to scrunch off my scrunch up my thingy even more. But you know what? It'll work. It'll work. <gasps> we're gonna make this work. Alright, now we're gonna scrunch it up. I'm gonna try to get this one a little smaller. So this is going into the inner corner and go into the green. And now we're gonna go. Okay. All right, so now we have that eye. Okay, y'all, wait, why is this looking so good? Why? I think I might kind of go over it a little bit and like raise the pigment up because I feel like it's a little bit too low. There's too much space like above my eyebrow. So let me just put some more of the green. 
go a little higher up like into the crease and you can actually go over it again because it's so abstract you know it's not perfect I'm gonna try to overlap a little bit yes yes <gasps> I just remember after I have a doctor's appointment. I'll be going to the doctor looking like this. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, just a little bit of the purple to overlap the blue a little bit and bring it up a tiny bit. And then I'm going to bring it out into the outer V and I'll clean up the lower end after to give us a sharp shape. But so far, I'm actually really liking how this looks. So let's move on to the other side. And I think I got them pretty even at the top. Y'all, I like this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and clean up the outside to kind of give it a good shape. You know, that regular shape on the outside. And over on the side as well. And there we have it. Sort of a tie-dye rainbow ombre. Y'all, I love this. Okay, I don't have a uh, liquid liner, so I'm going to go throw on some wings and I'll be right back for us to do the lashes. Okay, and we're back with the winged liner. Yes, they are big and they are bold, but this look is big and bold, so it required me to go there. So I did. Uh, now we're going to go in with the lashes. For lashes, we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Full Mink Lashes in Drama Queen, which is so appropriate. So it comes with the lash and a little tool, but I'm going to use my tweezers. It actually took me a minute to find these lashes because I kept seeing the ones that were a little bit more wispy uh, in stores. But I'm trying to remember, did I buy these online? I might have ended up having to get these online because the ones that are in store all seem to be like very wispy, very natural looking. And well, you know, this look does not call for natural looking lashes. I don't even think these are dramatic enough, but we're going to wear them. They're elf lashes. Okay, so now that we have the lashes on, I think they actually do work pretty well with the look. I wish they were a little bit longer, but you know, that's fine. These lashes, they're really good uh, length for my eye. They were really easy to go on. They have a nice curve to them, and they seem to be very comfortable so far. So the lashes, like that. So for primer, I'm going to start off with the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This came out with the Mint Collection uh, that was right before summer. And I got a couple things from that collection, but I wanted, I wanted to try this primer today in particular because the Watermelon Primer that came out before this is like my absolute favorite. And I wear it almost every day. And I believe this is very similar. Just that it's green and it's cooling. I think that'll be perfect for the summertime. It's hot outside. We need to cool down. It pretty much feels just like the watermelon. And I do feel the cooling effect. But it's very moisturizing and it does have a little bit of tack to it. So it grabs onto your foundation. And in my T-zone, I'm going to use the Matte Putty Primer, Universal Sheer. It's infused with kaolin clay and white charcoal to help mattify the T-zone. So the regular Elf Putty Primer is another one that I use every day. So this one is pretty white. I'm going to take about this much and go right into the T-zone with it. It feels pretty similar to the regular one. But we'll see how matte it gets. I put it right in the areas where I have the most pores. I really work it in there. And this is also the area where I get oiliest the most, the quickest. It is leaving like a little bit of a white cast on the skin. I mean, it's going to get covered up by the uh, foundation, but still. It's giving me like sunscreen vibes. <laughs> and for foundation, I'm finally going to try out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream it has skin loving ingredients like collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. Sounds like really good things. All really good things that I love for my skin. And I have it in the color Tan 425N, and it also has SPF 30. So we're going to pump a little bit out in the back of my hand. This is what it looks like. It looks like a pretty good color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in on half of my face with the sponge. This is the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. My 
favorite drugstore sponge. Love this nice, soft, in my opinion, better than a beauty blender. This has really good coverage for being a CC cream. It does look really nice in the skin. Skin looks nice and hydrated and smooth. I'm liking that. And on the other side, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Complexion Duo. I normally don't use brushes for my foundation, but I wanted to try this one out since it was specifically like made for this camel cream. So I'm just going to get some off the back of my hand and stipple it in. I don't like to use brushes for my foundation because I feel like it leaves streaks. Could be me, could be my technique, but I feel like the sponge is faster and I get better coverage, no streakiness. This actually doesn't look bad because the CC cream is like melting into the skin, but I still see like some brush strokes. Both sides look really good. This uh, CC cream is really good coverage. It looks really smooth, beautiful. My skin looks hydrated, not greasy at all, smooth. It's not sitting on my nose the best, but that's usually my nose's problem. That always happens. But other than that, this is really nice. I like it. For concealer, another thing I've had for a while I'm finally going to use is the Hydrating Camel Concealer. Uh, this is full coverage. It's a satin finish and I have t the color 10 neutral. This is another cult favorite. It has a nice fat doe foot. I love that. We're just going to put it in all the usual places. And while that sits for a second, we're going to get into something that's really new. Hot off the press, the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I just got this in the mail. So I got two colors. I got Golden Days and Honey Drip because I wasn't quite sure which one would work for my skin tone. And they pretty much look the same. Honey Drip is just slightly lighter and warmer. But I'm going to go with um, Golden Days, which is a little bit darker to give me a nice bronze look. They seem to be really playing up this uh, putty situation. So this is the color and I'm just going to go in with a brush and then we're going to put it in Okay, it's not giving me a lot of definition. It is warming up the skin a little bit, but maybe I might need something a little bit deeper. Actually, no, this is working just fine. Now we're going to blend up the concealer and we're going to use this. The Camel Concealer Sponge. That's supposed to be best with the Camel Concealers. Essentially, it's just a sponge in this like egg shape. I really like the shape. It's going to be really good for concealer, but essentially, this is it's just the shape of the sponge. Just another reason for me to spend money. And it worked because I did buy it. So we're gonna blend that out. I used the regular camel concealer before and it's nice but I, when they first came out with it the color range was horrible. There wasn't a lot of good colors in my skin tone and then it was so matte and drying. People were comparing it to shape tape but it's, it was much more drying than shape tape. So they came up with this hydrating one and this is actually really nice i blended up really nice the sponge is really nice too i like the size of it it really gets into this area really good and it's the same material as the total face sponge so you know i really like that the concealer seems to have medium coverage it's blending up nicely it's a good color for my skin tone so far so good oh i forgot i wanted to use the brush the other side of the complexion brush too late now we're loving the sponge. Okay, so we have the complexion done so far. Everything is looking nice and smooth and well blended. No complaints. To set, we're gonna go in with the Halo Glow Setting Powder and I have the color medium. I'm gonna use the Cam Concealer Sponge to set my under eyes and the concealer. Mm, so that's sinking right in to the skin. Seems to be pretty matte. There's a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't see sparkles, but it has a slight luminosity to it. I guess that's why it's called Halo Glow. Okay, I don't have a pressed powder, so I'm just going to go in with my regular L'Oreal True Match, and I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. brush. I think this is the 101 brush. It's come, this is an old sort of crystal set. They still have them. You can get them at the drugstore, Walmart. 
I really love this powder brush because it's so big and fluffy and does a really good job of buffing away the powder. Set the rest of my face, dust off the setting powder. All right, now we're gonna finish off the face and I have these three bite-sized face duo. So I have watermelon, coconut, and pomegranate. So for bronzer, we're gonna go into the coconut one. I love these cute little palettes. They are so affordable. I think they're like $3. There's also the bite-sized shadows. I have seven or eight of them that I actually have never used. I gotta use them. I'll do like some quick summertime looks on my Instagram. As usual, my Instagram is linked down below. Please follow me. We do lots of looks over there. So I'm gonna go into the coconut palette and I'm gonna use the bronzer. It's pretty deep. Just good and bronze myself up. Pretty deep and warm, but it's definitely giving me some warmth and some definition. Since the cream bronzer was a little light, I can see this working really well for slightly deeper skin tones as well. For me, I'm just gonna go in with a light hand, but it does give some nice warmth. For a highlight, I'm gonna go into the watermelon duo and I'm gonna grab this highlight. It's a lot icier than I thought it was gonna be. In the pan, it definitely looks a lot peachier. And then for blush, we're going to go into the pomegranate face duo. And I'm going to grab this blush right here. All right, now we're going to go in with the blush. This is actually pretty pigmented. A really nice color. This will work really nice on deeper skin tones. Definitely uh, OD, but you know, we can fix that. We can fix it. Everything is fixable. I'm just going to go over this with my powder brush a little bit. Tone that down. Although, honestly, I really like blush, so... I'm a fan of the bright blush. These bite sized palettes, so nice, really good to travel with, nice and small, good colors. This one will go really nice for deeper skin tone. I like the way it applied, pretty good formula. Highlighter was a little icier than I thought, but not bad. It's if you like a blinding highlight, you would like it. And then for setting spray, we're gonna go with the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist up to 16 hour wear. This one's pretty new. Shake it up. Let's see what that mist look like. Or if it's even gonna work. Okay, so since that one refused to work, we're gonna go with the Elf and Jeff Atkin Mist Me Setting Spray. I've used this one before and I actually really like it. It has a really nice mist. I really like the mist on that one. Also, it smells like coconut, so it feels like you're on a vacay. Really like it. Uh, so, and also, that entire collection is 50% off now, like on the Elf site and also at Ulta. And I thought the products were really good, especially the palettes and that setting spray. And now let's finish up the eyes. So I'm going to use the same colors that are on top on the bottom, but I'm just going to blend them out. We're not going to do the toilet paper thing. I don't think it's going to work under the eyes. Now we're gonna take a clean brush and then blend out the edges really lightly. In my waterline, I'm gonna try out this Jelf X in Atkin Zero Effort Liner in Jet Set Black. That went on so easy and so creamy. Let's see if it stays. Okay, okay for the inner corner and brow bone, I'm gonna go back to the bite size palette and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner and my brow bone just to give us some brightness right here and this was pretty icy so I think it'll do the trick. I don't want to put a color and throw off you know the color story that we have going here and a little bit of brightness under the brow. For mascara we're gonna go in with the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. Melt our lashes with the false lashes and then we know my lower lashes. I have four of them. So we need to get them to stand out just a little bit more. I've been trying to use a lash serum to help it grow. But I never remember to use it and I'm not consistent with it. So, of course, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. This brush is not the best for my lower lashes because it's a very spiky brush. So it's not really able to hold on to my lower lashes. Okay, and now for the lips, we're going to go with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Line and Shine Lip Kit. This, again, was something that was limited edition and it's no longer available. But you might be able to find it at TJ Maxx and Marshall because I've been finding 
some of the pieces from this collection there this was last summer i believe so it comes with four liners and a lip gloss so i'm just going to line my lips with one of the liners and then put the lip gloss over top i'm rushing a little bit because i have very limited battery time and we're near the end so let's finish off strong so it's going to line with the which one is this doesn't have a name but one of the brown ones we're not going to go too crazy on the lips because the eyes are pretty colorful and I'm going to go over top with the gloss and this one's called a moment because this is definitely a moment it's peachy peachy and glittery and beautiful and it smells peachy too yeah so the entire set with the uh, four lip liners and the lip gloss was ten dollars which I think is a really good value but you can probably find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for $4.99 which is even better so it's really pretty with sort of like peachy glittery reflex I do feel the grittiness of the glitter in there. It's not horrible, but it's a nice sort of shiny neutral lip to go with our look. And guys, that's it. That's our look. So what do you think of our full face of ALF, our pride look? I am obsessed with the eyes, obsessed with how this turned out. Love the shiny neutral lip that goes with it. Pretty much the products really worked well. They really worked well together. ALF for being a drugstore brand. They have really high-end feeling products. Love the CC cream. The concealer, the halo setting powder was beautiful on the skin. Sunk right in with a little bit of a luminosity to it. The lashes are pretty. The uh, eyeshadows in the palette performed really well. I mean, I didn't really blend anything out, but they're very, very pigmented. The putty, all the putty products, the putty primer, love it. The mint melt primer works just like my favorite watermelon primer the brow cream is one of my favorites i use it every day the little bite-sized palettes i think that's a really good value for three dollars you get a lot of product really perfect for traveling really i can't even say if there's anything that i did not like i think we're going to need a deeper a bronzer color there were eight shades um so i can just go ahead and get a deeper one it's six dollars so it's not bad at all and i'm gonna have to get a new bottle for that setting spray i heard it's really good so i'm just gonna put it in another bottle or get another spray that actually works really love how this turned out really enjoying this pride look today is the pride parade i believe so happy pride to everyone if you try this look out if you like it let me know let me know what you think about this tiktok hack if you think it worked out i think it did and that's pretty much it so guys thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know which are the full face brand you want me to, to do i have lots of them lined up but let me know which one in particular you want to see let me know what's your favorite drugstore brand elf is one of mine that is up there I can't, just, I can't really say which was my favorite, but it really is up there. I love Elf. Uh, but let me know what's your favorite drugstore brand. And of course, thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.